Hey yo, what up? Welcome to Black Savage Entertainment. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, and turn the notification bell on. Yo, we back with some more heated content for y'all, man. We got WAC 100 and Queen Wolf from the trenches. They going all the way up on this dude from New York, defending Tax Stone against Troy Avenue, saying that Tax Stone, he performed that night, he stood on business. So Queen Wolf and WAC 100, they went all the way off on this dude. Let's get into the content, then we will get back to it. Make sure you like and subscribe. Let's get it. He's supposed to shut the fuck up, man. No, 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 no. That's not what I asked you. I asked you, is he supposed to take two L's? Hell yeah. You fuck out of here, nigga. You bugging. You know he's you bugging. Take, nigga, he's supposed nigga, to take, nigga, nigga, you not even taking two L's, nigga. You either not taking the L in the club, he's or supposed you, you got to pick and choose, bro. Which which L you taking? What's, well, the, what's the L's? Because one is connected to the other. If you got caught with the gun... You have to take the body. The body is connected to the gun. He talking about uh, him coming right, in with three right, right, with no, three no, weapons. No, no, no. Hold on, I, no, listen, no, no. listen, listen. The that. three I weapons was not in the club. It was only one that. weapon in the club. I, I get that. I get that. I get that. But what is she supposed to do? All the other guns was in the car, nigga. Hold on, hold, hold on. What is she supposed to do in the club when niggas run down on him? Niggas did not run down what on him. Do what you mean, niggas didn't run down on him? Really? Troy Adams said they ran down on him. You nah, did it. Wait, 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 hold on. He hold winked on. at the nigga. It wasn't right. niggas, it was a nigga. One nigga. A hey, big yo, nigga. Let, hey, yo, All right. let me say right. this, right? So, but, but the point is, the point is, the, the niggas ran down on him. No, they didn't run Troy down on him. Listen. They didn't run down on him. nigga from Troy Ave camp no. ran down on him, bro. No, no, this is so how me. pussy are you that a nigga run down and you got to go run for your weapon? You're not tough. No, 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 You're not tough. You're not tough. You're pussy. You're pussy, though. So don't sit here trying to make it seem like the nigga's tough and he's a motherfucking gangster. When he seen the niggas he was talking shit about, when he seen the nigga he was talking shit about, the first thing he did was reach for his fucking weapon. He's a pussy. He's a pussy. He couldn't square up with that nigga. He got scared. He got scared. That's what happened. He got Shorty, scared. Shorty, you he lied panicked. Lied. You lied he me. panicked. I give you that. I give he you panicked. That. You lied to me. You always panicked. I give, I give you that. You he panicked. You panicked. Yo, the nigga, I give the nigga panicked. Hey, look, bro. He panicked. Now here go the thing. If one nigga who's doing the job and see running oh, down oh. on the nigga is attacking the nigga, right? When you run down on the nigga, you you getting off on the nigga. It's a difference in making sure a nigga got an understanding that first whatever off, you think you doing, you ain't gonna do. First off, how the nigga panic when the nigga talking the hot shit online, nigga? You gotta be that person, in, you gotta be that same nigga. You gotta keep that same energy in person. So how you panic, nigga? I mean, you play. Panic. You must not listen to what Gotti just played. The nigga said, "Oh, we did a nigga, different." Nigga, I'd have called nine one one. I'd have called nine one one on him. This nigga's a bitch. He's saying all he's that. He's a bitch. Right. He's saying all that right now because he he's seen what it is. Troy Abbs. He said something, nigga. Hey Gotti, tell this nigga about Mike on whack, Gotti. The tax tone tail? Yes or no? I wanna see I wanna see where this nigga at. The tax tone tail, yes or no? Are you talking about the letter to the judge? Did he tell nigga yes or no? Are you talking about the letter to the judge? Whatever, in whatever form did he tell? Listen, man. The nigga That's seen what's going on. That's why I don't fuck on. with niggas like this. This is why I don't listen, fuck listen, with niggas listen, like you, bro. I, listen, bro. I don't care if you fuck me. Because I never said no. I fucked with you, homie. I yes never said no. I fuck with you, homie. So that you don't even matter. Yes that, no. don't matter, that, that don't matter, gang. If you don't want to keep that, it that, real, your opinion don't I'm, matter. I'm, my initial question was Yo, answer what, the question did he tell him my that? initial question was was the nigga supposed that? to take two L's was he supposed yeah, to take, supposed two, L's, to take nigga? two L's nigga yeah, nigga, did he tell then you, then, 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 you, you don't want to talking about that you ain't them bar no if you think a nigga's supposed to take two L's then you're a pussy nigga if you turn it on that shit on the nigga the streets is a myth the streets is a myth bro 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 what I'm saying is if a nigga's talking all that hot shit online right and the niggas run down on you and you don't perform nigga that's your ass nigga what are you talking about nigga? he didn't perform he got his ass beat he didn't perform he got his ass beat his fucking head cracked because it was mad niggas it was mad niggas what are you talking about Oh, what hey, mad yo, niggas hey, are you yo, talking yo, about? Nigga. There was no mad niggas. Hey, on, what are you talking about? Yo, 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 you sound like you what know mad niggas? What mad niggas? You must, you must know who you talking to. That's what you don't know. 
You don't know who the fuck you talking to. Let me tell you something. That's what you don't know. You don't know who you talking to. So you sit the fuck down because you don't know the story. You ain't here dick sucking a nigga. Go put him a letter. Go put him a letter. Give him some mobile support, nigga, because he ain't coming home. He ain't coming home. Go put him a letter. Go put him a letter. Pussy. Go put him a letter. Go write him a letter. He needs some moral support. That nigga's losing his fucking mind right now on the fucking on the fucking interviews. Losing his mind. Trying to rewrite history. The fuck out of here, nigga. You're mad. You're mad. You're sucking a nigga dick. You have nothing to do with the situation. You're sucking a nigga dick. You have nothing to do with the situation. You're sucking a dick that you have nothing to do with the situation. Fuck out of here. Hold on. One mic. One mic. One mic. One mic. One mic. Notice, Gotti. Gotti, why he didn't want to answer? Did he tell? That. That's why I got the paperwork up. That's why I got the letter right in my PTR. If they refresh the screen, they could read it. You can see what he what he told his lawyer uh, and what he gave up. So read my PTR. Y'all can read it. No, no. Hey, listen, bro. You know how many times my lawyer then said, hey, the only way out of this is if you this, mm -hmm. this, this, and I can tell the DA that, that's out. Yeah. I, I want, I want that anybody that, that. that say he I want them to read my PTR, please. Just read it. This to show you that Tag Stone was telling. That nigga Tag Stone's a fucking snitch, nigga. Uh -huh. Oh, they could read the PTR right there. That's that's the evidence in red. You're going to see in red. That's what he gave up. You read it. That's Tag Stone. What he your man you said, never, ain't no way he's supposed you, to take two answer, L's. So you pretty much yeah, say, yo, yo, don't yo, take the two yeah. L's, tell. Tell before you take right, the two me, L's. Me, before you take the two L's, L's tell, right? Save <laughs> your dignity in your name, I'm, nigga. I'm <laughs> tell before you take two L's. Listen, nigga. Listen, nigga. He already nigga, got 38. Nigga. Least he can do is go off state with his All dignity. Right. You know what I'm saying? But the point is he performed, nigga. Niggas ran down and he performed. Least he could do was go up north. What's a performance if it was poor? That, that was a poor performance. That was a poor performance. Oh, really? That was a poor performance. You the fucking bitch too, nigga. That was a poor performance. Why did you say tell before you take two L's? Hold on, yo. Why you saying that? You said he Who said that? Hold on, T. You said he performed, but he dropped the gun and allowed his op to get the gun. And got, it, and got his head beat in with the same gun. He got his head beat in with the same gun he brought in the spot. You know why? You know why? Because niggas is on him. Niggas is on him. So that tells you it wasn't one person, nigga. It doesn't matter. I think you're a retarded dick sucker. I think you're a retarded dick sucker. The only niggas that was fighting, the only niggas that was fighting, the only niggas that was fighting was Banger who got shot. And fucking Troy Ave who beat the nigga up after he shot his friend. The fuck is you talking about? You sound dumb as hell. You're a dick sucker. Mute up and yeah. listen to the story, faggot. Yeah, uh, rest in peace, banger, too. You heard? Rest in peace, banger. You heard? But shorty, I don't know. You can say all that shit. You can. I don't give a fuck who you are. I'm t I told you. Come on, niggas, just slap you, you up, bro. Yo, dude, fall back. Said, Tell you before you take you away. Who said that? You said that. Tell yeah. before you take two L's. You said he's supposed to take two L's. It's supposed to tell. It is two L's in tell, right? What, 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 I said, what, what I said was the yeah, nigga got to keep said. the same energy two that he had on. No, you said he's crazy. supposed to take two L's. You said, nigga, what? So what you he's think? He's supposed to take two L's? That's what you said. They supposed to split it. They supposed to split it, my nigga. But you know what? I bet you the nigga sitting down like, I bet. I took this L and I performed. I'll take that. I'll take you that. You can't fix your dick sucking lips and say R.I.P. banging and say he performed. You sound like what you said, bro. Fuck out of here, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. That ain't what you said, bro. You, you know, said, you know, is he you know supposed crazy? to take you know two L? You know, it's, that's not what I see. Yeah, exactly. I that's what, what, I said. what you said. Yeah, Ask the floor what you said, bro. That's the question. I said, is he supposed to take two L's? Meaning, you it, said it, no. It, you said, is he supposed to take two L's? You fuck it. You said that, nigga. Exactly. That's what you said. said. Yeah, that's what I said. Nigga, okay, I so that it, means nigga. like, nigga, that means you're telling us, nigga, what? Is he not supposed to tell? He's supposed to take you bugging. You telling us no, he bugging. No, no, telling nigga, him to keep his no, mouth nigga, shut, bro. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. The first L is niggas ran down on him and nigga, nigga supposed to get locked up for that? No, nigga. What I'm saying is if niggas run down on me, nigga, 
It is what it is, and what happens happened. If I get locked up, it is what it is, nigga. He knew so he Troy Ave was, was going to be there. It was no, flies nigga. everywhere. Troy it was flies him, everywhere. Troy Ave came for him, nigga. Fuck you. Troy Ave had him. business there. He nigga. had to perform, nigga. He wasn't even on the bill. Fuck out of here. He was a special it, guest, you faggot bitch. You stupid. Yo, 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 shorty, you eating mad dick. You want attention so bad. Shut your huh? bitch ass up. Yo, shut your fucking mouth, nigga. 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 Shut your fucking deep throat in a nigga. You faggot. Oh, he got jumped. They jumped him. It was a bunch of niggas. It was mad niggas that jumped him. You sound like a faggot. What about it is, Wolf? This nigga ain't never met Tax Tony. Why? What? This nigga will never fucking walk. He will spit on him in the street. He ain't never met the nigga in his life. He's Bitch talking God, about tail before you take hey. two L's. Homie, but let me just read the paperwork, though. <sighs> Nigga trying to get a shout out. Let me just read it. Um, Bitch. The New York County District Attorney Office immediately arrested and indicted an individual by the name of Roland Collins, a.k.a. Troy Avenue. Mr. Collins is a recorded artist whose artistry is filled with glorification of narcotic sales, shootings, and, and possession of firearms. <laughs> Mr. Collins has also had members of his entourage assault other recording artists. Member of Mr. Collins' entourage were also involved in another club shooting. Look, another, let me say it again. Mr. K Let me say this again. This tax code telling the judge. <laughs> Collins has also had members of his entourage assault another recorded artist. Members of Mr. Collins' entourage were also involved in another club shooting. Where about an innocent bystander was shot and injured in New York City club. Mr. Collins' entourage who is known as Banger, was charged with that shooting in New York County by the Manhattan District Attorney's Office. Snitching on Banger. R.I.P. At the time... I'm not even here. What's yeah. wrong with this nigga, man? At the time of the incident that occurred on May 25th, 16th, Banger was out on bail for the shooting incident during the incident on May 25th, 16. That's your man's. That's your man's. Drop. So you sending that school, bro? Sending the judge that type of shit before the trial? What my man got to tell before you take two L's? Where he at? Even though it's two L's a day. I don't know what happened, Wax. I think niggas pushed him down the stairs, this bro. Moved him. Ain't nobody touched that bitch ass nigga. He ran. <laughs> Hey, yo, one thing about my New York niggas, you niggas got some slang. That nigga said, push him down the oh, stairs. Oh, that's a fact. You know it's Brian Angelo, whack. It's Brian Angelo. Yeah. Push him down the stairs. Hey, yo, whack. Hey, yo, whack. Can you explain what happened with you and Mayno that made Taxstone get at you in the first place? Mayno and Taxstone? Yeah, what happened with you and you and Mayno that made Taxstone start talking about you? What tax stone got to do with me and Mano? I guess whatever y'all you and Mano situation, that's what made tax stone. Mano got on the phone and apologized. That's what man. I was on the audio. That nigga called murder to call me to apologize. So he didn't want none of them problems. I said, bro, we on the way up tomorrow. Cause he really had an issue with, with magic, game security. Magic told him on Avalon Crip soon we that's get there, happened. we that's fade. Nigga, that's what, that's what happened. happened. I'm going to tell you what happened. It wasn't me. I was the mediator because I knew everybody. I'm trying to stop Magic from tripping. I'm trying to talk Magic from tripping. And Mano got on the phone and apologized to Magic. So, but once again, Tax Stone was never a factor in any of our business. This nigga was nobody oh, in those industry circles, bro. Hey, Never. But you want to know something, no way? Let me see this, right? Because he made a lie. I said him and Mano was going to bail out Banger. That's cap. That's a lie. 
you know, if Mano so called fuck with Banger, he would have picked Banger up and got him up off that floor and not left his man 80 in that motherfucking spot. I know 80. You talking about 80 in the wheelchair, right? 80 in the wheelchair. 380. I know 80. I know 80. He left. He he, he ran and left 80 and and, and left Banger body laying on that. 80 wheelchair was damn near turned over. Mano left his shoes. Left his shoes. Left his girl. Left 80. Ran. Left his people. Definitely left the girl because the girl told me that. I talked to her. The nigga was sleeping on her couch. She had to put the nigga out and, and sneak out and move to Georgia. And he stole out her purse. That's a fact. <laughs> so, so him and Tax stole is two suckers that's, that's, that's trying to push a narrative. This is how you know Mano was a sucker. How you hold a man's shame for seven years, man? You done did records with this man. You done been in parties with this man and you held that man chain for seven years and, and not to cut you off not to cut you off Gotti. that's cap right that what, what tax is saying right because mayno didn't have no issue with troy right. mayno was taking pictures hailing them up they was they was cool up until this situation so when was you and him gonna bail banger out that mean mayno is a bitch ass nigga that mean he was on some shady backdoor shit from before right. the situation if that's what you're trying to say you're trying to say mayno ain't been a real one from the beginning yeah so what do you what is that he chain to say? that Mano had is right. the same chain when, when I, me and Troy linked up, he had the same chain on in my PTR. That's the same chain. Yeah, that man picked up that man chain. And Mano had that chain on in a motherfucking video six times after he claimed that he kept the chain in safekeeping for for whenever Troy get out of line. That's crazy, dirty, That's nigga crazy, shit. dirty nigga That's shit, a, dirty and nigga never, shit. And dirty never did he, shit. never did he identify as if I'm wearing it because it's your shit. Like he took that. So. No, he was wearing it. He was wearing it, yeah, taking pictures in the club, but... piecing niggas up, birthday party. He fucking hanging out the car window, driving down Atlantic Avenue with the chain flying in the air. That was his chain. Facts. 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 He stole it, pocketed it, and wore it. Went broke, tried to pawn it, and somebody said that shit ain't that shit ain't what it is. Bum. Bum nigga shit. Bum nigga. Nah, he went broke and he got that settlement and he got that inheritance. That's what happened. Nah, she got the majority of the bread. Majority got the bread. I talked to the lady. Yeah, I talked to the lady. She got the majority of the bread. Left her, left her in the floor. Left her his man. Like the nigga that put you on, you left him in it. And and another thing, man, Mano is broke. That's why he on the radio. He is broke. Chelsea House is not his restaurant. Let's get that clear. That's Mike at 80 restaurant. He need to stop lying and say that's his spot. The nigga is broke. Yo, yo, so I need to start riding what, around in jock cars. Yo, Gotti, can I ask you a what question? Up? What's actually broke to you? What's broke to you? What's broke? A nigga that's yeah. out here fake stunting with other niggas shit. That's what's broke to me. Mm. That man's fake, fake so, stunt. So, so, so basically you saying half of America. A lot of these dudes. I'm broke. I'm broke as a motherfucker with a half a mil. I get anything under five million, nigga. I'm broke, <laughs> and I'm gonna go hustle. I'm gonna go hustle the nigga like I like eighty six, nigga, with a crack sack. So all depend on what a nigga bills is and what his obligations is, bro. You know what exactly. I'm saying? When you when you eighty to a hundred a month, you got two, three different households, and kids in college, and and you got you know you got to go make some investments where it might not come back for two, three years. Yeah, but if you a street nigga and you got a half a million, nah, you ain't broke. If you just, you know, you 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 got you a, a old model Benz, about five years old. You know what I'm saying? And you got yeah, your little whack. apartment. Your car payment is fifteen hundred. Your your kids tuition two thousand a month. Your mortgage is three thousand. That's the heavy load. Yeah, niggas pay for money. Really. Yeah. Niggas pay for money. Go over here five thousand a month. You got half a million. You ain't yeah, broke yet. You're not broke at all. You better be putting. You better be putting some more to it. Yeah, if you ain't got no work on the strip, he ain't got not yeah. even got no money on the. He ain't got no work on the block. That nigga ain't no ain't got no birds. Nigga. Yeah, that's yeah, that nigga oh, just crazy, man. Nigga ain't got no paper like I that. Wanna bro. Know, I just want to know. I just want to know. I just want to know why Mano run around with a nigga chain for seven years. That's all I want. That is different. Claiming claiming y'all friends. That's crazy. different. That's crazy. I know this. I know this. I can tell you this. Uh, I ain't had to go get no rental car, use no car service in New York, because since Troy had been gone, 
I got the keys to the Lambo truck. So I don't know who paid for it, That's real. but it ain't got That's a repo. Real. And that That's motherfucker real. stay detailed in that garage at that spot. So yo, I know Rick, he ain't from. I seen the yo, yo, whack. I seen the Lambo to the person. I yeah, know he ain't from. Yo, yo, whack. <laughs> yo, yo whack. I'm going to keep uh, it 100 with you. I done been in upstate New York all over seeing this nigga Troy Abbott build by real estate, by land, by all different types of shit. Oh, no, that's he, real. He stay buying different types of shit and land auctions and 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 seize auctions. He stay buying houses and shit like that. He own about 30 to 50 winter properties. So that land is probably being taken care of by his shit. He broke straight. Bro, straight. We be fighting over who's going to pay the bill. That's the only problem I got with that nigga. That's a fact. Oh, that, <laughs> that, bro. Good. I, hey, listen. That nigga, for a nigga to be in jail, he ain't called me yet with low spears. You know, if your finances is right, your wisdom is right, well, you ain't got to be doubting and arguing if she going to clubs and what she doing. The kids on point. You ain't got nothing to do but read, exercise, my nigga. And get caught up on your rest. Come on home. Facts, facts. That's a fact. Yeah. Nigga been facts. cussing me out about where we taking the trip to. <laughs> so, <laughs> nigga, but, you in the gym. You in jail. He always <laughs> been like, I, I ain't gonna lie. He ain't no dumb dude. Like he always nah, been, nah, been nah. getting rental properties and all that since the very beginning. He been on um, investing his money. He did what well, you know for for up and coming underground artists that didn't go all the way mainstream that nigga should be niggas blueprint that take that money and do what's right with it because with or without a label i don't even think bro ever been signed to a motherfucking nope, label he never had i don't know it, they take they take his confidence and get offended by it instead of being inspired by it that's all that this, yeah, all shit, this is about bullshit. bullshit when that nigga told i was on the when we was in fucking saint thomas the nigga on the phone closing the deal on some more cribs, and I'm watching the areas he hit. I said the cold part about it is the street niggas in them areas ain't even hitting them areas. That's a fact. Right. But he know about them. So, you know, got to do what you got to do. You know, we had one fight since he been in jail. The nigga want to sell the bodega because it went from three to eight. He said, he said, as soon as we come home, he said, as soon as he come home, we're going to get another spot. Like he said, we got to get another grocery store. <laughs> yeah, <this laughs> now he want another one. <laughs> I nigga sold your whack. We selling that. I said, no, we ain't, nigga. No, the fuck we now. Nah, we selling that shit. <laughs> I said, I tell you what, I'll buy yeah, you whack, out. That nigga to hold uh, on to it for another three years. You be up. Nah, he ain't going to do it. He ain't going to do it. I ain't lying. That nigga called. I ain't lying, bro. That nigga in good spirits, so you know, end of the day, dude, the nigga tax. So I think his problem, yo, he got the short end of the stick of the podcast. You hey, yo, in that hey, yo, shit. Whack. Yo, yo, whack. Yo, whack. Next time you talk to Troy Adler, let him know Boston. Shit. We waiting on him, bro. Hey, yo, whack. This is exclusive. Boston, I'm gonna say this on your stage, red carpet, yo. I'm gonna say this on your stage, whack. This is exclusive, man. There was so many niggas that wanted to kill Tax Stone, man. That when he went to D.C., my nigga. The dude that he dissed on uh on the Twitter spaces hit me up. It was like, yo, dog, I had to send 30 niggas to hold him and casting over damn. Cause dudes was going that nigga's a bitch, whack. That nigga's a bitch. What he was doing to the DC niggas. He was talking crazy about them DC niggas on his podcast, and them niggas wanted to see him and they wanted to do something dirty though. I'ma send you the text message, whack. I'm gonna let you see what the dude said. Right. Yeah, he, that I, I, you know, people used to tell me, yo, whack, tax, I'm like, yo, who the fuck is, I didn't know the nigga, why, yo, Slay, who was the nigga? He say, yeah, little nigga be on YouTube, whack, you don't know that nigga, man, Lord, that nigga. I ain't know the nigga. I knew Troy, I ain't know him. <laughs> that nigga's a, that nigga was a clout chaser, whack. <laughs> I never knew who the nigga was, bro, like, I was you know, he was <laughs> bad, hey, this nigga, this nigga said, "Whack." This nigga said, "Oh, I used to troll him because when I got to the barber shop, the barber said I can't cut your hair no more because they said they gonna kill you." <laughs> yeah, he said that shit. What? Yeah, he said. It. I don't know the nigga. 
That nigga whack. He was mad. He said you and game. He was upset that you and game shot pest control out there. <laughs> I mean, but bro, we was at the pinks about eight hours. Yeah. Then we went over there to White Block about White Block about two. Then we shot over there to the Sugar Hill yep. spot for another hour or two. Nuke That's met me people. over there. I don't. I don't like my nigga. I literally went to the Popeyes across the street and shut them down. I brought everything they had That's in the whole, whole store fact. and fed the projects. That's a whole fact. So I don't know. Like he could have came over there. Like all you had to do was come over there. You like I'm over there with murder. I, I'm I'm uh I'm off duty. I had special with me and special projects don't get along with murder them projects. So once I'm in New York, I'm off duty, my nigga. Murder gonna tell you when he get out here to Cali, he off duty. I don't give a fuck what it is out here. You better find another time and place. I'm off duty. You could have came over there. Right. I'm pretty sure them niggas would have hollered at. We two bus loads deep our goddamn self, but we off duty. I'm murder responsibility. That's just how we work. It's a fact. Cypress and pink houses. My nigga, we was over there eight hours. He ain't want to come. <clears throat> he ain't want to come out there, black. He ain't want to come out there to pink houses, man. He ain't even want to come out there to, on, on nuke block, man. That niggas, a, that niggas, that, nigga, <laughs> that nigga ain't want them issues, man. Hey, they, they, they was they was shooting at his man. Hey, whack. They was shooting at his man's casting over my nigga. So you know them niggas ain't about nothing. Between man. nuke murder and special, I'm pretty sure whatever issue he had, it got rectified, bro. I'm pretty sure. Yo, Wack, you ever see the video with the nigga casting over say, why you ain't help tax? Nah. <laughs> Look, I got to find that shit. The nigga read that. Yeah, murder was like Uncle moves, Murder. Nigga. Uncle Murder act like he ain't hear that nigga. He said, yo, why you ain't help tax? Come on, man. <laughs> Uncle Murder still holding down right. Rod Dick. Shout out Uncle Murder. He a real nigga. You know, I, listen. I played a valuable part in that murder papoo shit coming to an end. Damn, they lost my life two, three times fucking with them two niggas in the middle of that shit. Hey, yo, Wack, man. I think this is a cry for help that he just want to snitch. That's what he want to do, Wack. I mean, here go the thing. Now, here goes what's crazy. Dude ain't been around long enough, and he ain't in the mix deep enough to have nothing to tell on, bro. His biggest claim to fame is talking on the internet. It ain't like mm -hmm. he know about some bodies over here or some work over here. He ain't been around like that. Yep. He ain't got nothing to tell yep. on. Fact. That's a fact. You got to have something to tell on mean you got to be around to yeah. know, see, and know the facts. Dude ain't a nigga like that. Yeah. I gotta play the audio for the people that's covered in head bed. I gotta let y'all hear this audio again, man. Because these are the dudes. This is what I'll be talking about, whack. These are the dudes that be out here saying they real street niggas and they wanna act like gorillas. And then when they get inside, they start crying and, and snitching and, and bitching. But this the dude that was on the podcast that whole time he was home was talking ill and now he talking about niggas are trying to kill me they try to pistol with me let's play this audio for the people that just coming in the room man to reverse the roles and put troy ass shoes on that night what would you have done during that incident and how would you have handled things after would they do anything i've seen him several times before that and it's always been, uh, yo, you need to not be beefing. But you should dab him and it'll be over. What happened? The time this happened, he would renege on his side of the deal. So the thing was, was that I felt like I went about it wrong because instead of me exploiting the things he was doing, I was just show going and on the internet so it just made it look like I just woke up joking on it but meanwhile I just started joking on it because I just came from my barber shop and the barber tells me that I can't come in and get a haircut no more because the nigga came and said they got money on me you know what I'm thinking and I never said that shit on Twitter but I get on Twitter and just be like 
yo, this is whack ass music ass nigga. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that was my way of dealing with it. So and the and, and the outside looking and it's like, oh, he just only this is music. But even if I was, nigga, so what? So what? You know what I mean? And just as I said, I've seen him several times and it was a gap and it was that was it. But when he when he got in a position to feel like he could get me or he could get the best of me, he took advantage of it. You know what I mean? That's all the local words. I seen this dude several times for that and it was never nothing. So you know what I mean? You think it was like people around that hyped him up? Yeah. Well, he 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 knew I was dead, you know, and that was one of the things. Like someone called him and told him I was dead. Like I didn't realize it until like that night. Like when I re- when, they, when they came in, like they, yes, they seen me already. They were looking for me, and he probably said he's coming back. And then I look back, and I'm like, oh shit, and I said, it's popping back. And as soon as I said it was popping, they rushed me. I like it for gun. And I seen it coming down, and I'm like, oh shit. And it was like too late, so I got hit like right in the middle of my forehead with the gun. And then as soon as I got hit with the gun, somebody feed me from behind. And this is when I realized that he had somebody else in the movie. Because I'm like, who the hell was behind me? They would have feed me, you know what I mean? Because they came from the front. So who the fuck was behind me, you know what I mean? So after I had spoken to one of the dudes that was in this group, that's when he told me, like, nah, nah, I don't know how to look for an issue, but I wasn't looking for it. You know what I'm saying? So he just flipped the whole shit around and just made it seem like I can't look for it. Like, anybody from New York is going to say, why would a Brooklyn rapper go looking for a thing on 14th Street? You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't make sense. Like, you do shows in flat with like, you to come out. I would go look for you there if I was looking for you. You know what I mean? But this dude, you know, the thing is that when you cooperate with the government, they don't give a fuck to any vote. They just want a conviction. So that's what happened. That was it. They just needed a conviction. You closed the case. The belligerents were wrong. All right, we had nothing. You gotta remember, I was on the street. Man, it booed that room, man. You know what I mean? They had no evidence. So the only thing that got me arrested was his mouth. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it was like, when people say, oh, they had this on you, they had that. It's like, what the fuck is the problem? Or they had it. That's it. This dude didn't want to go to jail for shooting. He didn't want to go to jail for the three guns he bought. So he cooperated against me. That's it. He never was charged with shooting his friend. Like, he made all of this shit up for the sake of, you know, a theatrical story. And all this shit could have been left up. Instead of niggas just looking up in the computer what he's arrested for, they like, yo, imagine they charged you with killing your best friend. He never was charged with that. <laughs> but that was the he put out. So people could believe in his head, you know what I mean? Yeah. So the story is that you murdered his... Nasty work, man. <clears throat> Nasty work, man. And these the dudes that say they real gangsters, man. Yo, man, that's pretty much the end of that explosive content, man. How y'all feel about Tax Stone, man? Do y'all think the guy was in the right the way he was defending Tax Stone? Do y'all think he performed that night when the situation happened with Troy Avenue that caused somebody to lose their life? R.I.P. Banger. It was a very unfortunate situation. Now, Tax Stone, he's been doing a lot of interviews from jail. He's been saying a lot of different things. Some new audio came up where uh he said he would do things a little bit differently in the situation with troy avenue um this guy came up he was defending tax stone saying that um you know what was he supposed to do he's supposed to take two l's he had to perform he was outnumbered the dude was saying a lot of different things so queen wolf being Troy Ave's girlfriend, she felt that she had to come and defend Troy Avenue against what this dude was saying. A lot of the things that he was saying, he didn't really know too much about the situation. So Wolf definitely came in and cleared the air. And Wack 100, he was backing her up because him and Troy Ave do business. Wack 100 was definitely siding with Wolf and defending Troy Ave as well. He posed a question to the guy: Do you believe that Tax 
Stone is a rat or a snitch. The guy quickly went to the letter to the judge because he had some idea what Wack was talking about, but he never wanted to admit whether he felt that Tax Stone ratted or not. So y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. If y'all feel about this conversation, if y'all got any opinions or any information on this, man, let me know in the comments, man. Um, if you made it this far in the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up, turn notification bell on, and I'm going to see y'all in the next one.